This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. All right, so all I want to know is, did you call John Abdo as soon as I confessed to you today that I've been putting on a little bit of, a little bit of plumpness, a little bit of poundage. So it just is coincidence, mm-hmm. right? Coincidence. So, so Eric has started uh, driving for a ride sharing company. Yes. And so he's putting a lot of long hours behind the wheel. But even if he wasn't doing that, I think a lot of us put a lot of, of time behind the wheel. We're sitting in traffic. Oh yeah, sure. And we're spending a lot of time, uh, yeah, behind the wheel of our cars. And mm-hmm. according to a recent study, that long drive to work and the long amount of hours we're putting on behind the wheel is not only impacting job performance but also your health huh. your weight oh boy and even your happiness your productivity at work is dract- drastically re- reduced and in fact he says long commutes our next guest says they can be the equivalent of taking a 19 percent pay cut our expert is john abdo he's regarded worldwide as an authority on life, motivation, health, fitness, and athletic conditioning, renowned for inventing his award-winning home gym. He's a former Olympic trainer. He's actually recently been inducted into the National Fitness Hall of Fame. John Abdo, welcome to Experience Pros. Hey, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. John, uh, tell me that there's still hope for me. There's hope for everybody. You know, I will, how you set this up is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we need platforms like this to alert people of the fact that sitting, whether you're driving or sitting behind a desk, is really uh, damaging to the human body. We are not made to sit. We are made to move. I mean, our ancestors were hunters and gatherers. They rarely sat. And sitting, even if it's in traffic as you're driving, is compounded with the fact that you're under emotional stress. I mean, we have more people today driving cars. We have more people today driving cars using their cell phones and not paying attention. So it's very, very stressful. So in addition to it just being uh, a stagnating activity, if you want to call it that, on the body, it slows your metabolism because your body just be, it doesn't have a chance to circulate. Your body's being compressed rather than elongated. All right. So, John, I think uh, earlier, probably earlier last year, a study came out that sitting is like the equivalent to smoking. Did you hear about that study? Yeah, you know, they make these comparisons. I mean, obviously, a lot of people couldn't relate to something, you know, inhaling smoke as opposed to sitting. But uh, but what uh, what I can deduce from, from that is that it is just as dangerous because people don't realize how detrimental it is. To, to your health by sitting. I do a lot of writing. And just until recently, I started standing as I'm, as I'm, uh, you know, supposedly should be sitting behind my computer. My body just can't take sitting for long periods of time. I just turned to senior citizen, so I'm much more cognizant of the compressions that sitting and stagnation does to the human body. You have to move your body around. Muscles lose their elasticity over time. And as a result of what I mentioned earlier, the compression, you're not only stopping blood flow, which delivers oxygen, but you're also stopping nerve flow. And when you're compressing a joint or a disc, like in the lumbar region or your ball and socket hip joint, and you're compressing on nerves, what happens? Muscles atrophy because muscles need blood circulation for the nutrition muscles need that electrical or nervous energy in order for them to contract so people wonder why why are my knees getting weak why am i having trouble going up and down the stairs why am i having trouble just with with my energy and as you mentioned it's 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 uh perforating all the way through their whole entire life sure. where their job productivity, their creativeness is really uh, being diminished. And obviously it's going to result uh, into depression and all these other maladies that really are uh, preventable. You know, John, as you're speaking, <laughs> Angela's uh, correcting her posture. I know, I'm correcting I had, mine. I have to stand up. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we don't even know. Uh, Angel doesn't change uh, altitude when she stands up or sits down. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so, John, give us... You know, we've got about three, four minutes left here. Give us some some fast and easy exercises that we can do, because not every one of us has the opportunity to stand at, at, at our desk. What can we do to help? Okay, so 
So before you sit down, do some kind of stretching. Just do some torso twisting, very common stuff. You know, maybe try to lean forward. If you can't touch your toes, touch your knees or touch your shins. Loosen your body up. You see it all the time when you're watching sports on TV. You're seeing the athletes loosening up before they get on the court or on the playing field or into the octagon, whatever, whatever sport they're doing. I would get one of those arch pads. Uh, so when you're sitting at your desk and even inside your car, you have that, that arch that is being pressed up against your spinal column, which helps to decompress the spinal column's pressure, the, the, the disc that are, that are being uh, pressurized from, from the actual uh, vertebrae itself. When you're at your desk, twist yourself around. Most, most, most uh, chairs today do their own twisting. So even though you, you, you rotate right, you rotate left, your body is in the exact same position. It's not like the old wooden chairs where if you, you twisted, your body actually moved in those, those positions. So the ergonomic technology of today has made work faster and easier, but it's much more detrimental to the body. <laughs> and, uh, and every once in a while, just stand up, loosen your body up, shake it up, maybe run in place a little bit, do a little bit of like uh, uh, squats. You got to get the blood circulating. You got to remind the muscles that they're there, there to be active, not to be stagnant. I think John was watching me spin my chair and, and really does this yeah. really work, John? I mean, you know, we're doing just a few stretches. This is, can this really undo the hours that we are spending sitting? Oh, absolutely. And the thing is, I, you know, I tell people to sprinkle it throughout the course of the day. Uh, and and uh, I call it ART, A-R-T, accumulative results training, which means you accumulate the results by doing it periodically throughout the course of the day. Again, the hunter and gatherer, they're doing stuff all day long, nonstop. Here in the workplace, you're doing stuff all day long in a stationary position. Get up, twist your body, just uh, just. 30 seconds, one minute, go back to work, maybe an hour later or whatever, or however often you could do it. Keep the body moving. The human body was made for movement, and just a little simple twist or, or, or bend is going to be very advantageous. I always tell runners, runners, they start their run in an upright position. They run, 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 run. They stop their run, and their spinal column is in an erect position throughout the whole duration. I say stop your run lean forward, touch your toes, rotate your torso side to side, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and then go back and do your run. A lot of people are concerned, oh, my heart rate is going to lower, all this other stuff. This is something that you need to do because muscles are made to contract, but they, they can only contract after they've been elongated, and the elongation contraction process, what we call elasticity. Muscles are like rubber bands, and we got to keep that pliability into those tissues. John, how do you want our listeners to connect with you to follow you? Uh, JohnAbdo.com is, is, is one way. I have a WordPress blog where they can just go into the, that website and click into the blog. But thank you so much for this platform because I know a lot of people are getting injured, not just their lower backs, but their whole entire lives because this is the, uh, the spark that causes that fire of all these different side effects. So I really appreciate this opportunity. And we appreciate your time, JohnAbdo.com. Thank you, John. We hope to have you back on the program again. Thank you so much. You bet. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk just after these messages. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer doing our exercises the John Abdo way. Yes, he's the guy who made the Abdoer. You know him. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business. 